we're going to keep this video short because I need to wee. I think first and more importantly, we need to discuss the fact that I turned 21 a few days ago. I feel like there's this big expectation on your 21st birthday to go out and drink your body weight in liquor and wine, but I didn't do that. There's a bit of an internet discussion going on at the moment by Tyrannosaurus Lex, or at least contributed to by Tyrannosaurus Lex, and also Al's Say Who, and I'm sure other people have contributed, but I'm a mainstream YouTube whore. And the argument is that the nerd community now shuns everything that isn't nerdy in the same way the mainstream community shuns everything that isn't mainstream. And I agree with the points that Al Sehut and Tyrannosaurus Lex have made because I don't want to go out in the cold and then deal with being hungover and being sick and needing to wee all the time and using club toilets. I feel like I'm at the age where I can do what I want when I want. And I also feel like I'm at the age where I can say I'm at the age. And with turning 21 I've come to a really fantastic realisation in my life. I've come to the realisation that I am a 21 year old adult male in the prime of their life from one of the richest, most privileged countries in the world, who speaks arguably the most richest and privileged language. Do you know what I do with a lot of my time? I worry about the fact that I don't know what I'm having for pudding. So the realisation I've come to is that I'm in a position where I have, arguably, greater innate ability to change the world. I'm not saying that people from a different background can't change the world, because they have, and they've done it much better than I probably ever will. The only thing limiting me and what I can do in the world and the difference I am currently making is my laziness and my unwillingness to commit my entire life to something. And no one ever changed the world with half a heart or half a mind, at least not intentionally. I've realised I can change the world and I plan to do so, even if it's in a very small way. On a very similar note to Revelations, it's been snowing! Um, it's only a few days ago, I didn't get any video footage because it was snowing and I love snow, it's like my favourite thing. But I don't know what it is about the snow, whenever it snows, ten year olds run the world Civilization collapses, centuries of democracy and policy just crumble away under the white powder and groups of ten-year-olds gather and they just throw snowballs at adults and no one says anything. And I was walking into my house this morning and I clocked a couple of girls, teenage girls, outside my house making snow and one of them was black. This isn't me being casually racist, this is important to the story. They were taking the snow off of our wall and I clocked them and I was like, oh, it's really awkward if I walk past them into my house and they're taking my snow. But as I walked past them, the black girl threw a snowball at me. A teenage girl threw my snow from my house at me as I was going into my house. So I turned around to her, I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're a girl, but throw another snowball at me and I swear to God, just to caveat that, um, I would never do physical harm to anyone, let alone a female teenager. Black female teenager. That would look terrible on a police report. Also, a couple of nights ago, I was sitting in my room here, and my housemate's room, who's at the front of the house, I heard funking as someone was throwing snowballs to his room. My housemate, whose room it was, was in the bathroom, which is also at the front, and getting pelted by snowballs. And we saw some sort of 19, 20 year old lads throwing snowballs at our window. So I did what every mature 21 year old would do in this situation, and I rubbed my nipple at them. I have never confused a group of 19 to 20 year old adult males so quickly as I have by making eye contact as they throw snowballs at me and rubbing my nipple. However it worked, and they just kind of looked at me really weirdly and looked at each other really weirdly and started to walk off. So if you have any trouble, rub your nipple at them and it will solve all your problems. On that note, goodbye! Hello? Welcome to the studio.